Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you don't know who I am because you're just popping in to see how to install your SD Fab roof brace, then welcome, my name is Chris. I am the guy behind the lens. I am the guy that makes all of these SD Fab parts. I am solo de mio, nobody else here, just me. So basically what you should have inside your box now is one of your roof braces right here. So you'll have that and you should have a little bag with four M8 by 125 bolts. Um, and if you don't have a bag, then maybe it fell out somehow. I've had that happen before, honestly. But yeah, four M8 by 125 third pitch bolts. I usually send a 25 length, because that's the shortest I can get uh, local to me. So yeah, basically you should have those two things in your box as well as some sort of thank you note. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's kind of jump right into this. I have a buddy that is on the way, as I do not have a Del Sol anymore. I haven't had one in about two years, so I get questions oftentimes about how to do this or that with the installation, because uh, some people are visual learners, so that's the intent of this video. So once he gets here, we will start taking his car apart, and we'll uh, show you how to put this thing in. All right, so here is the Del Sol. So obviously, first things first, we're gonna take the target top off, and then we can get easier camera access, but also just access in general, because we do have to remove the front sun visors, as well as the rear map light plastic. So to start off with the sun visors, you have these two holes right here. You're going to have like a Torx bit, but you can also use a uh, flathead screwdriver. You can see it tucked up in there. And uh, then the sun visor should drop right out. I was mistaken. There's also two plastic clips right here. Pop those out with a flathead screwdriver, and then you'll have two more of the screws right up here. All right, with one of the sun visors off, you now have access. So basically, the bolt you're going to be using is this guy right here. Now, take that sun visor off and get access to that one. So now we got access to both of the bolt holes right there, and it does leave the center plastic. So right now, the provision for the bar does not have mounts for the sun visors. And I mean, let's be honest, these ones are kind of useless anyway. So next up, we got to take this rear map plastic off. So you will have to take your bulb out and then there's going to be a screw under that. And then you should be able to just unclip it from this point and from the other side over there. There's a screw. Yeah. My gosh. <laughs> oh, I just dropped it. Out the bag, <laughs> now it's your rear map light plastic off. You're gonna have these two holes right here. So you got one on this side, one mirrored on that side. And again, these are the M8 by 125 thread pitch. So uh, yeah, now that we got access to all the holes, let's try and get this brace put in. What you want to do, it is going to be, again, a very, very tight fit, and I was actually just uh, discussing that I'm going to revise the mounting solutions a little bit more. So we got it in. We got the two points back here, two points up there. Now this fourth corner, like I mentioned before, it does pull in. So what we have done is taken a jack and jacked up the corner. This is the corner that was off the last corner. So jacked it up 
um, I don't know, probably about eight inches or so. We might be able to get it a little bit more flex. Your car may have more flex. This car is a lot of aftermarket like suspension stuff, so it may have a little bit less. But then what we did is grabbed a pry bar, just like this guy right here, and um, just kind of tucked it up to there and then just pry it against it. And uh, it is a definitely a two-man effort unless you get lucky and your car's, you know, just uh, set up just enough for the holes line up. But ideally a two-man effort and uh, all the bolt holes are in fact threaded now. So from there, again, only having everything a couple threads in, now you can go ahead and you can tighten everything down. Um, to be honest, I don't really have a torque spec because it's just kind of holding it in there. So usually M8125s are somewhere around, I don't know, like 30 to 40 foot pounds. Take that with a grain of salt, I'm probably wrong. But um, yeah, so again, I do plan on revising these mounting solutions. We'll have to plan another day where I can have Ashton come down. I can remake these. I already got an idea of what I'm going to do because as you guys know and can see I'm using tubular mounting points so instead I think I'm going to upgrade or update it to square stock and get caps made and then weld uh, slotted caps on the tops of these and that should work quite a bit better because these are uh, just a hair over an inch on inner diameter whereas the tubular ones are basically just a hair under an inch so that will give us a little bit more wiggle room which is basically all we needed because once the car was jacked up and I pried it back it was just enough to where you could see the hole perfect it was just the edge of the washer. So I do state in the directions you can hog out the washers, which has helped some people. But you know, I want to help make it as seamlessly of an install for you guys as I can. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, the roof brace is in. So once it's bolted in again, I don't really plan on making any revisions to add the sun visors because that would interfere with headspace and that's just not something I'm willing to do. Anyways guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully this little instructional helped you. And um, yeah. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Do what you love for you about the rest. Thanks for the support. See you in the next one. Peace out.